after 10. Uh, give my daughter the pain shot, please. Mrs. Greenway, I was going to. Oh, good. Go ahead. In just a few minutes. Well, please, it's, it's after 10. It's after 10. I don't see why she has to have this pain. Ma'am, it's not my patient. It's time for her shot. You understand? Do something. All she has to do is hold on until 10. And it's past 10. She's in pain. My daughter is in pain. Give her the shot. You understand me? I'm going to behave. Give her That's Shirley MacLaine in her Oscar-winning role in terms of endearment. Now that's a mama grizzly. The movies and television have presented many positive parental role models, self-sacrificing paragons of unconditional love and understanding. And then there are those who on Mother's Day might expect a lump of coal instead of a Hallmark card. And some of the most memorable performances have come from actresses playing less than warm and fuzzy. Actors love a juicy villain role. And while women have yet to achieve world domination in a James Bond movie, they have at least achieved child domination. Because when movie moms are good, they are very good. And when they're bad, they're terrific. Take Terry Tyler Moore in Ordinary People, please. She can't even stand to be in the same picture as her son, who is still reeling from the death of his idolized older brother and subsequent suicide attempt. Connie, move in a little closer to your mother, okay? Prize winner. Yeah, that's great. Portrait. That is great. Do it. Page one, Lake Forester. Isn't it, Mother? Yes, it's yeah, I love it. Yeah. Well, sure didn't come. Hey. Calvin. Hold it. Connie, smile. Calvin. Just a second. Smile. Calvin, give me the camera. No, I didn't get it yet, Beth. Come on, give me the camera. Dad, give me the camera. I want a really good picture of the two of you, okay? No, but I really want to get a shot of the three of you men. Give me the camera, Calvin. Not please. until I get a picture of the two of you. Cal. Hang on a second. Give me the goddamn camera! And here's Ann Ramsey as Mrs. Lift. To meet her is to want to throw Mama from the train. Come in! What the hell's going on out there? Nothing, Mama. Who are you talking to? Who's in there with you? Nobody, Mama. Who's this? This is Cousin Patty. He's going to be staying with us for a while. Isn't that nice? You don't have a Cousin Patty. You lied to me. Our list wouldn't be complete without Faye Dunaway as Joan Crawford in Mommy Dearest. So, Joan, where do you stand on this whole wire hanger business? No wire hangers! What's wire hangers doing in this closet when I told you no wire hangers ever? Jewish mothers the ultimate helicopter parents, more like Black Hawk parents. In New York stories, Woody Allen conjured up his ultimate nightmare. Sheldon, where have you been? I've been looking all over for you. I was just discussing your problem with these nice people. Where are you? Do I know? Look, Sheldon, I've had plenty of time to think about it. Don't get married. Not here. Why should you rush in? This is not the place to discuss it. Where should I go? I'm here. You think a man his age should get married? They only met six months ago. And then there's Mrs. Bates. A boy's best friend is his mother, son Norman insists, but perhaps not in this nutcase. Mrs. Bates. Now, for sheer lack of maternal instinct, though, it's hard to top Angela Lansbury in The Manchurian Candidate, a Soviet operative who has groomed and manipulated her brainwashed son to be an assassin. 
I know you will never entirely comprehend this, Raymond. But you must believe I did not know it would be you. I served them. I fought for them. I'm on the point of winning for them the greatest foothold they will ever have in this country. And they paid me back by taking your soul away from you. I told them to build me an assassin. I wanted a killer from a world filled with killers, and they chose you. Because they thought it would bind me closer to them. But now we have come almost to the end. One last step. And then when I take power, they will be pulled down and ground into debt for what they did to you. So this Mother's Day, celebrate Mom. And then think of these memorable ladies and, and consider that no matter what your own mater's faults, she could have been much, much worse. I'm Donald Liebenson. Visit my entertainment blog on Millionaire Corner and cast your vote for your favorite movie or TV mom, good or bad.